Hello, Scuba here with another redstone video. Today we will be taking a look at the moss crafter I built on the Arcadia server. This is probably the simplest moss crafter you can find out there. And that's because speed was not the motivation to make this. The goal with this moss crafter was simplicity. Build simplicity. I noticed when crafting stuff like packed mud that I had to grab half a shulker of wheat, then half a shulker of mud, and I had to do this a bunch of times every time I wanted to craft a couple of shulkers worth of packed mud. And that's exactly the problem I want to eliminate. I looked at a couple of designs, most of them were way too complicated, or they were too slow to be a solution to my use case. While trying to come up with my own solution, I tried all sorts of stuff to empty a shulker or a chest quick enough to be useful, but I couldn't find any solutions. So for this crafter, we just take our items and chuck them in the hole. The first ingredient goes in the left hole and the second ingredient goes into the right hole. After that we activate the machine and we start crafting. Now I'm using a mod called item stroller to do the mass crafting. And you will probably need something like that to actually use this machine. But it's worth it. And there we go. We crafted a shulker full of packed mud in a matter of seconds. Here's a list of the materials we're gonna need. And let's start building. This moss crafter uses a very interesting technique called stack separation. I got the idea from methods. I will link them in the description. If you would like to know more about stack separation and how it works, I would recommend watching his video. I don't really know how it works, I just know how to use it. Anyway, let's start by building one of these stack separators to show you how that works. First off, we're gonna need one block of obsidian and we're gonna place three packed ice next to it. Then we're gonna take a sticky piston and place it right over here with a slime block. Then we're gonna place two glass blocks and these can be any blocks, but we're gonna place them like this. Then we're gonna need one stair block Place it like this, in between the glass, and waterlock it. Then we're gonna need one temporary block, with a block next to it, like this, and an iron trapdoor on this side. Then we need two pickles, right there, and right there, and we're gonna place some water in between it. Now to show you how it works, I'm quickly gonna place a block here with a lever, so we can activate this piston. Then we're gonna build up part of the machine here, Three honey blocks above this pickle and three glass blocks above this pickle right here. Then we can take a bunch of items and throw them all in this corner right here. Now whenever we activate this piston... Oh wait! I forgot one crucial thing! Okay! <laughs> we need this pressure plate right over here. Okay, let's try that again. We can throw our items in this corner right over here, like that. Now whenever we activate the piston, one stack will come out. And that's how we will feed the ingredients to the player. Anyway, let's remove the lever and let's build the second one of these. So one sticky piston over there, with a slime block, obsidian, three packed ice. I see I'm using blue ice, but I don't think it matters in this machine. We need blocks right over there, then a stair block that's waterlocked, pickles like this, temporary block with a block next to it, then a trap door against it, and some water in between. Glass blocks above this pickle here, and honey blocks above the other one. Last thing, before we forget it again, pressure plate over here, and now we have two stack separators. Now it's time to make a clock for this thing. And we're gonna place a node block right over here, in the center of these honey blocks. We're gonna detect the signal from that node block, and put a sticky piston with a redstone block underneath it. Let's power it once, so it spits out the redstone block, and then we're gonna take two hoppers and point them into each other, underneath this ice here. We're gonna detect that signal using a comparator and put one item in here. It doesn't matter which item, so whatever you like. 
we're gonna point the signal into a repeater and into one redstone dust. Then we need a target block next to it and a redstone torch above the target block. Now we can see that the pistons extend and when we press the note block, the clock will start running. But let's turn it off for now. Up next, we want to make some water streams to feed the items to the player. First up, let's grab a crafting table and place it right on top of the note block. After that, we want to come over to the back here and we want to place some glass next to these ice blocks on both sides. Then one glass block next to the trap doors, one block outwards like this, a stair block on either side and we want to close this off. Then we want some soul sand right here next to the sticky piston. After that we want something to block the water flow over here. I'm using pressure plates but you could also use signs. You can't use trap doors however because they will open and close because they are next to this pressure plate over here. Anyway, we're gonna waterlock these stairs to make a little water flow over here. And we're gonna place a column of glass right on top here. And let's extend it one more and we will continue this water stream to over here. Place one last glass block right over here and one trapdoor against the crafting table. After that we want to have water sources in this whole column and like that we will have the water stream. One more thing, we don't want our items to shoot up so let's place some blocks above this water stream. There we go, now and now when we throw our items in the corner over here and activate the machine all the stacks will come over here to the player. Now let's build a platform for the player to stand on. First up, we're gonna need an immovable block right over here on top of these pistons. This can also be obsidian, but I think a furnace looks nicer. We want one immovable block in between here and we're not really gonna see that, so I'm using obsidian. And after that, we're gonna make a platform right here like that. Then we're gonna take some trap doors, place one like this, one like this on either side, like that, and one on top of the furnaces. And there we go. Some decoration over here. After that we need one more important thing, and that's one block of powdered snow right over here. This will prevent the items that we throw into it to become stuck on that ice block over there. And I didn't think of this before, but yeah, this will melt in warmer biomes. So I just broke the machine over there. I set the biome to another one right now, so it should work now. Yeah, I didn't think of that one. I might come up with a solution for that later. But for now, let's continue the tutorial. So for the water stream, we're gonna place one block underneath the redstone block. Then we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna continue this till we get underneath this target block. Then we need one ice block, one soul sand. And we're gonna surround this with more glass blocks. Like this. Then one block over here. And we're gonna make a column that goes up. Then we can extend our platform like this, get a trapdoor and place it on top here. I forgot one thing here, we need a trapdoor over there. And let's put back the glass block, then we're gonna place one water bucket right over there. And we're gonna fill up this bubble elevator. Close the trapdoor, after that we still need a couple of blocks right over here to prevent the items from spilling over here. And we're done. So if you've watched my Arcadia video, you will actually notice that this is not the same as what I built on the Arcadia server. I had a couple of problems with the old design and I mostly fixed them. One of the fixes was to put the snow block here so items wouldn't get stuck over there. But you do have to stand in the middle right here and aim in the middle of the crafting table. That won't be a big problem I think. 
But the other one is that sometimes items can land over here and they will get stuck. So if you know a solution for that, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, that was it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it and I hope it will be useful for you in your survival world. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.